Good evening everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, as you know, we have started our board booster series for section A and part 1 is already done. Today we are doing part 2 of this in which I have taken the topic arrays. And in this topic along with the arrays chapter which is there in your syllabus, I have taken string arrays questions also. Right children? So, I hope this series will help you in your preparation. My advice to all of you is to pause the video after you see the question on the screen and find the answer yourself and then when I tell the answer, please tell your answers with mine and in case of any doubt, do comment in the comment section below. Right children? So, we start with our first question today. If int ar equals to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, what is ar dot length? Children, as you have arrays and strings both in your syllabus, so please make it sure that length function is used in arrays as well as string. So, when you don't put the brackets after length, it is used to find the length of the given array. And when we use len, gth, length and this bracket, then this is a function which is used to find the length of the string. So, here ar. See here, AR, after AR, what is their square brackets, which indicates that it is array, dot length. Now, it will give you the length of the given array. Children, length means total number of elements present in the given array, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 will be the correct answer. Don't get confused that... The first index number is 0 and the last index number in this is 4. So, 4 will be the length. No. Length means how many elements are present in the array. So, total 5 elements are there. So, the length of this array is 5. Option B is the correct. Before we proceed further, let me tell you something very important. As your exams are around the corner, to help you with the final preparation, An Academy brings its Power Pack Revision Series for ICSC 9th and ISC 11 12th classes where the top educators will be taking the revision series and they will be focusing on the important questions as well as the previous year questions also and the classes will be conducted every alternate day also if you wish you can join any batch according to your preference you can opt for any subscription a minimum of 3 month subscription is also available and to avail 10% special discount, you can use my referral code LEAF. Children, let me tell you some key points of an academy. You will have live classes. Then you will have doubt sessions. You can ask your doubts via raise a hand feature. You will get PDF notes. You will have tests and quizzes with the analysis of your performance and obviously recording of all live classes with unlimited access and all the subjects and content under one subscription and children one big exciting news about unacademy is that it is opening its very first Unacademy store in Pusa Road, New Delhi. Do visit the store and experience Unacademy offline world and learn together. Children, I have put all these links of Unacademy in the description box. Please do check that and use my refer code LEAF for unlocking it for free and if you want, you can get 10% off on any subscription which you buy for Unacademy. Right children, so wish you all the very best for your preparation. Second question, which element is even 9 of the array even? If the array name is even, then which element is even 9? Children here, the value given within the square brackets denotes the subscript. And you know, when we write the array, the first index number is 0, then second index number is 1, 2, 3 like this. So, 0th index number will give you the first element of the array, right? Then first index number gives you the second element, second index number gives you the third element. Similarly, even 9, this index number is 9, it will give you the 10th element of the array, right? 
always the position is index number plus 1. So, option A is the correct answer. Right, children? The next question is, consider the following string array and give the output. String ST equals to rose, lily, sunflower, lotus, hibiscus. Children, this is string array. And if you see, this is index number 1, 2, 3 and 4. System dot out dot print ln st3. From st array, the third element of st array is lotus. Dot substring. Substring is a function which is used to extract the characters starting from the first index number till the second index number but excluding that one. So, if it is given 1 comma 4, that means it will extract the characters from index number 1, 2 and 3. So, from lotus, if you consider the string lotus, here the index numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1, 2, 3, what you will get? O, T and U. Children, in the previous video also I told you that when you give two index numbers in substring function, the second index number is excluded, right? Always keep this in mind. Definitely you are going to get one question based on this. So, option D is the correct answer, right children? Next question is, if int a equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what will be the value of p? a2. Again children, here in arrays always, my advice to you is that whenever you get such type of questions, do write the index number above the element values right so that when you are doing any calculation you are extracting you don't get confused so here a2 what is the value of a2 a2 is 3 plus a5 into a1 what is a5 is 6 multiplied by a1 a1 is 2 now children here don't get confused again here plus operator is there and multiplication operator is also there. And in computers, you know, in Java, you know, we follow bed mass. And multiplication has higher priority over addition. So first 6 multiplied by 2 will be solved, that is 12. And here the answer will be 15. So option B is the correct answer. Children, my advice to you again, please solve it yourself and then tell your answers with mine, right? We move on to the next question. How many locations are reserved for the following array? Float m equals to new float 25. Children here, please read the question carefully. How many locations? It is not asking what is the size, right? Or how many bytes are stored? It is asking how many locations. So, when it is array and this array will store to total 25 elements. So, how many locations? 25 only. Right? So, children option A is the correct answer. Next question. State the total size in bytes of the array A5 of INT data type. Children, here is that question. Right? So, my advice to you is to learn the size in bits and bytes for all the primitive data types, right? INT data type takes 4 bytes in the memory. So, 4 bytes and the size of the array is 5. So, 5 multiplied by 4, it will give you 20. So, total size in bytes is total 20, right? If in place of suppose bytes, it is written bits. Now, all of you know that 1 byte is equals to 8 bits. So, INT data types take 32 bits. 32 bits. So, here in that case, it will be 5 into 32. That will be equal to this 160 bits. Right? So, the question can be asked in bits also, in bytes also for all the data types, whether it is int, char, float, double, byte, short, right? We move on to the next question. What is the output of the following code? int num equals to 543210. Now, children, here I have purposely mentioned square brackets after int. 
the square brackets can be used anywhere either after int after data type or after the variable name in the previous one we did after the variable name and here i have written after the data type both are absolutely correct so don't write that this is syntax error right then int n equals to 2 n equals to num children from here we will start solving n equals to num and num of n so num of n is 2 slash 2 this when you will solve it will be num of num 2 Again, here you need the index number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, num of 2 is 3, 3 slash 2. And in integer division, you know slash sign gives you the quotient part. So, this is num of 1 and n equals to num of 1, num of 1 is 4. So, finally, we got the value n equals to 4. Option B is the correct answer. Children, these type of questions are very important. Please do practice these questions, right? Next question. Name the technique that compares the sort key with the key value of the middle element of the array. Children, all of us, we know we have only two techniques in our syllabus, linear search and binary search and for mid element value is compared in binary search technique option c is the correct answer next question predict the output int a equals to 1 2 3 4 5 a dot length and children again we have to mark the index numbers here 0 1 2 3 4 a dot length like in the first question, I told you length gives you the total number of elements present in the array. So, what is the length of this? Is 5. 5, then plus space. Here, a space will come plus A2. A2 is 3 and then A3 is 4. So, children, what will be the output? Here, this 5 space 2, 3 or 5 space 7 will come or 5 space 3, 4. So, which is the correct option out of these two? 5, 7 or 5, 3, 4? Children, since a space is here, so after this all will be taken as values, they will not be added they will be placed one after the another. So, option 3 is the correct answer. 5 space 3 4. Right children? Please do practice. Okay. Next is give the output again. INT A equals to 2 4 6. INT B equals to 2 4 6. If A equals to B. Children here A and B are two arrays. And here, when I write the statement, if A equals to B, print ln equal, else print ln not equal. What do you say? Which should be the correct answer? Equal or not equal? Children, it will be not equal. Because here, A and B are the array elements. And when I am comparing A equals to B, it is assuming uh, these two not of array type. And it will compare some junk values we have not declared also even these so the answer will be not equal this option b is the correct answer not equal within double quotes is never displayed right children so children we are taking topic by topic and as i told you towards the end i will be taking the mixed bag of all the questions please do practice similar type of questions and if you want you can write some questions, good questions in the comment section also. And I would um, suggest other children to answer their questions, right? So, keep practicing. If you haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon. So that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our Telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard, keep solving the MCQs. God bless you children.